Hey guys, Chris again, coming in with another review. This time is the Invicta Pro Diver. I know this one gets a lot of love in some instances, and it gets a lot of hate. So I just decided just to see what, what it's like. I had one of these back in the day, back in high school. It was, you know, back when they had the Swiss Made logo down here on the 6 o'clock. And, you know, I bought it thinking, oh, yeah, that's cool. And thinking it was Swiss Made. I didn't know any better. But, of course, now you see they don't do that. This watch now has the Seiko NH35 movement, which is pretty solid movement. It comes in most of the entry-level Seikos, and a lot of micro brands have this movement as well. But you see the Invicta logo here up at the uh, 12 o'clock. Not too bad, nothing too flashy there. And it's got the date window over here at the 315, over here by the crown, just like you would on a Rolex Submariner. And, of course, it's about 40 millimeter 40 millimeter watch. And it's got the 20 millimeter lugs, just like a real, you know, Rolex Mariner. And it's got the sign and crown, which is pretty impressive for the price. The price comes in about 72 bucks on Amazon right now. You can get these for not too shabby for an automatic movement. The bracelet is a little, little flimsy, as you can hear there. Of course, as you can see, it's got the sign Indicta logo here in the class which is really really not too bad for the price like I said for 72 bucks I mean that's that's pretty good and you can see it doesn't have the Swiss decoration and all that kind of like the old ones used to this one has the Seiko H35 movement they're not trying to hide that anymore so that's that's pretty cool it comes with an automatic movement overall the bracelet is not bad it's like I said the bracelet's kind of kind of cheap that's one thing I would probably, if I were to keep this, I would probably switch out to NATO's. The the bezel is a little bit hard on the play. It's uh, but I mean, again, you can't expect a whole lot for seventy two bucks. That's not too bad. Um, the crown, whenever I, you know, you gotta switch the time and all that. The crown's a little bit stiff, but other than that, it's not really that bad of a watch. I, I would say if you're picking this up for somebody, you know, in high school or something, you know, just getting into watches, you want like a nice little gift for them for Christmas or birthday or something like that, and you don't want to have to worry about getting them too expensive watch, I would definitely suggest this. This could also go as like a beater watch for somebody, and I may keep it as a beater watch, maybe throw it, like I said, throw a NATO on there, something like that, get rid of this bracelet, this cheap bracelet. But um, overall, for, like I said, for the movement, you get a Seiko NH35 movement in there, uh, the automatic movement, it's not that bad for the price. The only other watch I would probably buy close to this price range would be the Seiko, the SNKs, the Seiko 5s, of course. Um, it's got the Invicta down here on the case, which isn't too bad. That, that's a pretty nice little touch there. Overall, do I think Invictus are worth it? For me, is you know, I've progressed in the hobby. I don't think I would go back to something like Invicta. But, like I said, for somebody just starting out, I think it's pretty cool. I think they have a lot of different collectibles, I guess you can say. A lot of them aren't my style. That's not knocking somebody that really likes to collect them. I've seen people collect just Invictus, and they have, like, 100 or 200 Invictus. I mean, that's cool if that's your thing. You know, you like the different styles and all that. To me, just those styles, just personally, it, it gets a little gaudy. Like, this is well done right here, not too bad. Like, you know, kind of under the radar. But, I mean, people know you're wearing a homage, which is, this is what it is. It's a definite homage to a Rolex Submariner. But, uh, like I said, overall, I would recommend this to somebody just, just starting out. You know, they want an automatic movement for now a lot of money. You can't really go wrong with this, or if you've been collecting a little bit, maybe you want a little cheap little beater watch you don't have to worry about mucking up or anything like that, I would I would say go with the Invicta. But um, other than that, uh, my personal taste, this doesn't really call to me, I guess you can say. Um, which, of course, you know, I have the Genal, and that's like comparing apples and oranges and Invicta to the Genal, because Genal is way, way, way more... Uh, better made I guess you could say I don't know if those words but overall like I said I would recommend this to somebody just getting in the hobby which a lot of people just getting in a hobby getting to Invecta and that's pretty cool that Invecta does that for the hobby so 
I would say I would give this maybe like a 6 or 7 out of 10 overall. Not too bad. Like I said, it, I'm fairly impressed by the, the um, improvements they made, so at least since the one I had since in high school, because you know they've been around for years. But uh, overall, like I said, for the price, you can't really beat it. That's why I give it like a 6 or 7 out of 10. It's not too bad. Alright guys, peace.